Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be cutting and tabbing some Labradorite. I'm not sure this is the highest quality stuff. I'm not sure how to cut it, but I'm going to play around with it a little bit. See if I can get a slab that I can work with and do some cabs. Alright, well I got this one wet. I think I'm going to start with this one because I'm definitely seeing blue here. Not seeing any colors on a different axis. So I'm thinking if I cut along here, it might make that blue pop out more. So I'll get to it. Let's go ahead and see how this looks. Yeah, I'm not not seeing. Well, so you definitely see the blue there. And I'm not seeing the blue in there. Kind of see a little bit here. I'm wondering if it's the layers have switched. I don't seeing it. I'm not seeing it on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut a slice off of here. Definitely seeing more blue there. Yeah, still gonna take a bit off of that. Change the pants, I'm gonna take a bit of, just a little bit off of this side. Again, I'm not seeing anything. All right, I'm gonna take a bit off of that side. Alright, well, for this one, the best color I'm seeing is on that original side I cut in the sun, but it's really hard to see. I'm going to go ahead and take one slab off of this, try cup cabin it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So I definitely see some color in there. Maybe not the proper angle, but I think when it's cabbed, it might pop out some more. So I'm gonna set this one off to the side. I'm gonna do a cab of this, but before I get to that, let's uh, try out one of these other ones. So this one does have a bit more, uh, whereas the previous was pretty much just blue. This one does have some, a little hint of green. I'm just, uh, definitely seeing it there, right there. 
So I think I'll start this one by cutting a slice off the edge here. This one does look a bit neater inside, kind of like a whitish, some bit of white there. And I didn't want to risk uh, wasting a bit of material, so luckily I cut that thick enough that I could cap that up just by itself, so I'm going to cut that bit off. So if I can't find a better piece, I could do that because I do know there's some nice color there. That kind of looks good. But oh, there's some nice blue. I'm gonna go ahead and take a slice off uh, this side. So with this, the colors aren't popping like they do right there. So I don't think that's the right angle. A little good, a little bit of color there. And I'm gonna run it down there. Yeah, I don't think that's any good. Alright, so the best area I'm seeing is this area here. So I'm going to take a slice, uh, slab off of that because I think this area would be pretty good. I think the rest of it might not be that great. So. kind of a little bit clear in there. So I think that I think that might work. I think I'm going to take it and go ahead and cut it. That's just the shape I'm going to do. I'm going to do a kind of a triangular shape with that one. So as far as the rest of this goes, I don't want to do any more cutting on it till I figure out if there's a better way. So well, I'm going to set that aside. I might cap that bit up too. The rest of it I'm just going to hold on to and we'll move on to the last one. So for this one, I'm seeing orange, yellow, green, blue. So I kind of want to capture all of those. So I'm going to start by taking a cut off right in here. See how this looks. You can see the band is there. They do have color shining, but not as nice on the outside. No. I'm going to 
take this bed off here. I'm seeing a little bit of blue, not much. Hmm. A little bit of stuff there. So there are some feathery patterns there, lines. So I'm going to take a slab off of that side, see if that works. Alright, well, I might be able to do something in here. Alright, well this will give me something to play with. I'm definitely going to cap that one up. Probably that one. I want to try that one out. Not sure if I'll do these three in this video. We'll see how the other three turn out. But at least this will give me something to play with. And figure out how to do it. <laughs> Alright, well I'm inside now. So I'm going to go ahead and shape these three up to cab on this video. Alright, well I think this is a good time for a uh, corny rock joke I found off the internet. What should you do when you hear a joke about rocks? Take it with a grain of basalt. Disagree with that. I think you all enjoy these rock jokes so much. When you hear one, you'll want to watch another one of my videos to hear another. Yeah, no, I, I can't say that with a straight face. Luckily, I don't show my face in these videos. Alright, well I'm going to start out with this one, it was the more bluish one, so hopefully it, uh, it turns out good. Start this one next. All right, well, at this point, you should be seeing me work the stone on the 600 wheel. However, apparently, I decided to film the side of my table instead. So I just thought I'd leave it in here. You can see some of the stones I started working on and some that I gave up on. Hey, I do see the uh, 
one of the agates from the very first video I made. And some other stuff there. You see the blue lace. Some of that raspberry quartz. Oh, and of course the paper towel. Well, I hope you enjoyed this pit. Last one. All right, well, here they all are. And unfortunately, I will go ahead and say that this is probably not my favorite material right now to work with. I probably need to spend some more time with it, maybe do a little more research. It, uh, it was probably low quality and uh, had some difficulties with little tiny fractures and flaking. This one overall is probably my least favorite, even though if I get the light just right on it, it does have a decent flash of blue. This one here, that one's probably the easiest and it has the nicest coloring. So I will go ahead and say it's my favorite. But if you enjoyed what you've seen, please hit that like button. And if you want to, feel free to subscribe. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.